Welcome to Al Motorsports, the channel for cars as you are. My name is Jake, and this is the 2022 F-150 Lightning. This is Ford's electric pickup truck, and they are just now going on sale, getting in the hands of those buyers who reserved them early on. And we're hearing a lot of good things about how they are to drive, but we have not seen a ton of content about towing. And the towing content that I've seen personally has not been super relevant to me because it's either been pulling a lightweight car on an open aluminum trailer, or it's been talking about pulling a camper and I tow an aluminum enclosed trailer, which is big enough to haul my race car, but is not as tall as a camper. It's gonna be a little bigger than you know, something like an open trailer might be. So we are here at Target, uh, juicing up, because we were pulled in at about 50% charge. We're gonna hook up my trailer and see how this thing tows from where I am now to Summit Point Motorsports Park, which is about an hour away. It's about 60 some miles and is full of a bunch of hills. So. Uh, let's get this all charged up, hooked up, and let's get on the road and see how this Lightning is to tow with. Okay, so a couple things about charging since we're here and we're charging and we're waiting on this to juice up and I'm not going in to get my coffee quite yet. So this is where you plug in to charge. This is on the driver's side front fender and uh, you get these lights. This is very similar if you've seen a Ford Mach-E crossover. You've just got these lights in 20% increments and then uh, a the little flap that comes down to plug in the fast charger plug versus what you would plug in at home. But uh, these F-150 Lightning can charge at a maximum of 150 kilowatts, and as you can see, we're not quite doing that. We're doing 86 kilowatts right now. Still fairly quick, but uh, the, the issue, and this is with all electric vehicles, is that you know when they advertise that maximum speed of how fast it will charge, that is in perfect conditions at a certain percentage of the battery's charge. So, there is a charging curve, and as you charge the battery more and more, closer to 100%, it has to slow down to protect the battery. So you're not gonna see 150 kilowatts 100% of the time when you're charging this Lightning. It's going to go up and down. So we're charging at about 86, and that is honestly doing okay. Um, I've been here 17 minutes and gone from 54% to 71%. And then just quickly hopping in side, this is an F-150 XLT, so this is going to be your cloth seat model. Uh, kind of an interesting, gray cloth seat going on. I think they're actually very comfortable. Um, this has everything else that I think you would typically want. Uh, it's got the fully digital cluster. They all get that. It's got the big, uh, this is the 12-inch infotainment screen, not the 15-inch that's kind of a tall rectangle. I like this one better, actually, because you still get real knobs and buttons down here. Um, otherwise, this has the same folding shifter that you get with uh, some of the other F-150s at this point because you've also got the fold-out work surface here. So, uh, I guess Ford says you can, you know, eat on this, you can put your laptop on this, whatever. Um, <laughs> really what it does is it makes your uh, center console armrest really heavy and difficult to open. Um, it does not like to stay up, it likes to fall down. Uh, so whether you like that or not, uh, that is the shifter setup in this truck. Otherwise, it is completely just typical F-150 going on in here, so really not a whole lot to talk about. But uh, with that, let's go ahead and finish charging. I'm gonna grab a cup of coffee inside Target because they have a Starbucks, and then we'll get on the road. Okay, so I was told by uh, someone who's driven these and actually worked on the development of them to not just slam the trailer on the hitch and go and actually set it up. So I'm gonna try and add a trailer here. There we go, okay. So now, would you like to continue to set up? Yes. So I'm gonna tell it all the things from the ball to the rear bumper. So that's actually 30 feet with this trailer. The width of the trailer is eight and a half feet. The height from the ground to, it's like, we'll call it 10 feet. And then the gross vehicle weight of the trailer, that's not what's in it, that's how much it weighs with everything. Um, it's got twin 3,500 uh, pound axles, and it's, I mean, we're right there, so I'm gonna just say it's 8,500 pounds. Okay, so now, well, trailer weight, okay, we don't have 8,500 pounds in it, so I'm gonna actually uh, change that to say what I know I have in it, which is more like 8,000 pounds, so okay. 
So 30 feet from, from ball to the taillights, it's eight and a half feet wide, it's about 10 feet tall from the ground to the roof. Uh, it's 8,000 pounds and we're gonna hit confirm. It'll take a few miles of towing this trailer to get the most accurate range, so great. So that is ready. Uh, smart trailer navigation setup, that's what we did. Okay, so now I'm not using CarPlay for this, I'm using the Ford navigation. And what I have done is I have put in where I want to go. This is if I were going to Summit Point. So Summit Point from where we are is like kind of here. You can't really see it, it's, if I zoom in, it's, uh, it's over here-ish, let's say. So what I'm actually gonna do, I wanna take this route because we're gonna go through the mountains a little bit. So I'm gonna pick that one, which you can see is actually 13 miles less driving. It's gonna take a little longer to get there, but that's fine. Now, the truck is estimating I will get there with 51% battery, and it says I don't need to charge, but I'm gonna turn around and come home. So it is 60 miles to get there. And then if you look at the gauge cluster, it's telling me right here, with the trailer hooked up, it says I have 143 miles of range. Uh, now it did just tell me I have to drive a few miles for it to get the most accurate uh, reading. So let's start driving and we'll go ahead and navigate to this place. Where do I start? Go. All right, so one other thing before we set off, uh, this truck is an XLT. It is the extended range battery, which Ford says is good for 320 miles unloaded with no trailer. Um, and it is, of course, a dual motor as a result of, of all of that. Uh, the only option this one has on it is the max tow package, which gives it the capacity to tow 10,000 pounds, according to Ford, but it does not give you a trailer brake controller. So uh, the way we're getting around that is using a Takancha Prodigy RF, which uses this little guy. It's a wireless controller, uh, and there's basically a box that goes between the truck and the trailer that actuates the trailer brakes based on when I uh, apply the brake pedal. So we do have trailer brakes on this truck, despite it not having a controller built in. If you want the brake controller built in, you'll have to get the tow tech package, I believe it's called. Uh, and that will give you the brake controller. So a few things as we begin towing with this F-150 Lightning. I mentioned it is the dual motor extended range. So extended range means uh, you get a claimed 320 miles of unloaded range with this truck. And the dual motors are good for 580 horsepower and 775 pound feet. So really, really strong. Um, it makes getting the trailer up to speed and everything kind of a non-event. Um, it's, <laughs> there's just no drama going on here. Now, when you talk about efficiency of an electric vehicle, uh, a lot of the manufacturers are going in miles per kilowatt hour, which is a very similar way to think about things as miles per gallon on a combustion engine vehicle. So, uh, you know, where your, your gas powered, say V8 F-150 might get I don't know, 20 miles a gallon on the interstate unloaded and 10 miles a gallon on the interstate with this trailer behind it, uh, so will your electric F-150 Lightning. So what that means is normally, I've been getting like 2.2, 2.3 miles per kilowatt hour just with driving through DC, um, driving on you know suburban roads, that sort of thing. And now I've reset the trip odometer uh, and all the calculators, and it's telling me I'm getting like 0.6 to 0.8 miles per kilowatt hour towing this trailer. Now, like it said, uh, I have to drive a few miles to get the most accurate reading, so that may uh, change as we, as we keep going. And this is kind of the point of no return where I miss my, my final DC fast charging station before I actually get to the one I want to go to. Um, so if we look at the cluster here, it says, I've got 110 miles of range to go 43 miles, so I think we will make it. Uh, it is kind of a mixed bag of a day here as far as towing with an electric truck, so um, it's perfect weather-wise. You know, temperature can affect battery life and your range. It's about 55 degrees outside, so perfect for that, but it is windy out, so it is, uh, you know, at some points we've been driving into a headwind uh, instead of having a tailwind that kind of helps things out. Now, I am, uh, as far as speed and everything, I'm driving this exactly as I would any other tow vehicle, which is to say I'm doing the speed limit plus about five miles an hour at the most, and I'm trying to keep my, my maximum speed to about 65, you know, 70 at the, at the most if I really have to, just because, you know, trailer tires are not meant to really go much faster than that. So 
I'm not doing anything differently. I'm not crawling along, you know, 45 and a 55 or anything. As far as how this thing tows otherwise, I mean, it's just quiet, of course. There's no engine to be listening to that's working really hard. Uh, the ride is very good. It's just like any other F-150. Like, no one notices this on the road. It's a silver F-150 XLT. So uh, the ride is great. It tows fine, you know, as with any other F-150 crew cab short bed. Like, it is kind of is what it is. Um, nothing to complain about here. Now, as we spin this around, this is the downhill, and you'll notice as I am going down the hill, my foot is off the skinny pedal, and you see that green uh, that's at the bottom of the left of that circle. Uh, as I lift off, that is dumping energy back into the battery to keep it charged, if you will, or, or you know, add extra energy back in. So where you know normally you'd be going down this hill and be off throttle because you know you don't want to go any faster um, you'd be wasting energy you'd be not recuperating any of that and now um, as long as I'm not trying to actively accelerate uh, this is regaining some of that just to top off the battery as best as it can and frankly the range anxiety bit you know do I have it right now sure uh, do I care no because i know i'm going to get there you know i think a lot of people can easily say oh it's losing range faster than i'm driving and like okay yeah because you're <laughs> you're getting worse economy you know think of any other vehicle that you would tow with it gets worse economy when you're towing than when you're not and with a trailer like mine you can pretty much guarantee you cut any gasoline powered tow rig uh, cut that mileage in half more or less so uh, just an interesting sort of perspective here. Uh, we've covered about 60 miles and the truck says I can do another 56 miles, uh, more or less. So, you know, you're what, at like 110, 120 miles of towing based on what you're pulling. Uh, if you're pulling anything like my enclosed trailer, which is to say huge aerodynamic load. If you have an open car trailer, like a U-Haul style trailer, you will undoubtedly get a little bit better range out of this because you're not dragging as big of a barn behind you. All right, and this is our sheets coming up on the left. Now I get to figure out where the chargers are within here. Oh, I see, okay, I see a Volkswagen ID4 plugged in. And these actually look kind of pull-in style, so let's see what I can do here. So here's the deal. Uh, there is a charger right here. I have to go nose in with this thing, so I am going to just do it and hope no one says anything because there's enough room so we're plugged in, so you can see my trailer here. This is the state of charging. This is how this is gonna be if you're towing a trailer. Um, there's thankfully enough room here where people can get in to use this pump, and I don't really think I'm blocking traffic, so I'm not unhooking, but in a lot of cases you would have to. Uh, so this is my trailer. This is 30 feet, well, 27 feet from the taillights all the way up to the hitch. Uh, the box itself is 20 feet long. But uh, you'll see here, this is the brake controller that I'm using, the Prodigy RF. Uh, I've just got it ratchet strapped because I don't use it all the time, but that works fine. Um, you'll notice I've got weight distribution set up. I'm not using it just because I don't really need it on this truck. I've just got it for other vehicles I tow with. But uh, this is where we are for being plugged in. And we pulled in with 44% state of charge. And we are going to let it get back up to 80 or 90. Like I said, the charging rate tapers off I can't see anything on that screen. Charging rate tapers off after 80, so we'll see how much uh, we want to do. But uh, it's telling me right now we're charging at 169 kilowatts, which is faster than Ford says you can. They say 150 is the number, but uh, either way, I'm gonna be here a little bit, so I'm gonna run into sheets and grab something to drink, maybe a little snack, and then uh, I'll head back to, uh, back to DC. But that is it for this review of the 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning towing that big trailer on full electric power. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe right here on YouTube. Give us a follow on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Outmotorsports. And head over to Outmotorsports.com if you'd like to connect with a group of fellow LGBT automotive enthusiasts and motorsports competitors. We're doing a bunch of events both in person and online, and we would love to have you join us. Until next time, please stay safe, be well, see you again soon.